Okay, guys, this is my video, uh, kind of a continuation of the review that I did on the all-in-one HP. Um, you have to uh, make sure that you have a soft surface when you're adding RAM to your computer. Um, you want to make sure that you turn over your all-in-one on the screen side, but you want something soft to lay it on. And that's what you see right here that I've done. And you want to make sure it's powered off. Nothing is connected into the computer at all. And you want to, after you do that, the first step is to remove the stand. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So you're gonna need a, the only tool you're gonna to need is a Phillips screwdriver. And you're going to, uh, basically, you're gonna remove the screws. There's two of them in the stand. So right now, I'm unscrewing uh, the screws uh, that hold the stand onto the computer. And so, we're gonna, I'm gonna finish unscrewing those with my hand because they're very long, as you can see. They're about this long. So I wanna show that to you guys. As you can see, that's one of them. So, I'm going to unscrew the other one, and I'll be back. Okay, I've removed both the captive screws, okay, from the stand. Now, I'm going to remove the stand. I'm wiggling it, and it came off. Okay, so now I remove the stand, okay? I'm going to set the screw and the stand to the side. Okay. The next step is there's a Phillips screw down in the computer. This is the second step. After you remove the captive two screws, there's two of them, this, then the stand, now you gotta remove this screw. Okay, here's the third step. This is the small screw. It's got a Phillips head on it, but it's very tiny, as you can see. I just removed that, and now I'm going, the fourth step, I'm going to remove the cover. Okay, the next step, now you want to pry the cover off. Okay, at the top of the computer, there's a gap. You want to pry the gap. Uh, the top gap, and as you pry the top gap, you want to remove, pry the top gap. Then as you pry the, uh, the top gap of the computer, then you're going to go to the left, and then you're going to go to the right side. So you open from here, then here, then here. That's how you're supposed to open it. Like I said earlier in the video, uh, you want to take off the cover, which is the back of your all-in-one, and you want to try to pry, as you can see, the back from the front. There's grooves in it. You'll see where you separate it. There's a little gap in here 
when you first open it and you want to pry the, the back cover from the front of the computer. But when you pry it open, you want to pry the top part, then the left side. Then once you got that left side pried open, then you're going to go to the right side. And that's how you properly re uh, separate the cover from the front of the computer. Okay, guys. Um, this is the fifth step, and this is the most tedious step. So be very careful because uh, you don't want to damage the cable that connects the system board. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift the rear part up and turn it upside down against the display. So here we go. Okay, there it goes, guys. Okay, the next step is once you open it and you took the back off of it, as you can see, you want to tap on the cage and get the static electricity out of your body before you touch anything. And as you see right here, here is the installed memory, okay, which is four gigabytes. Okay, if you see in the slot. Here's an extra slot, and I'm going to put four gigabytes of RAM in this slot. So, here's, here it goes. Here's what I paid for, four gigabytes. You got a little groove right here, and then, but whatever you do, don't touch the gold part. That gold part, don't touch it. Now we're going to take our memory and snap it into place. See that little notch right there? It's going to fit into that little area right there. You're going to put it in, and you're going to put the gold tip in first at a 45-degree angle. You're going to make sure that goes in first. You hear it snap? Now you're going to push it down. Until you hear it click. And that's it. Okay, now we're going to put the cover back onto the front of the computer. Be gentle, guys, when you're doing this at home because you got wires and you don't want to damage anything. So this is very tedious. There it goes. Okay, we're gonna Clamp down. You hear that sound, guys? All the way back around the computer. Firmly. Okay. It's back on. Okay. I already replaced the um, stand, and before you replace this stand, there's a screw that you have to screw back in. It's the small screw that I showed you earlier in the video. Once you do that, then you put this, the stand back on and screw it down with a captive screws and th those are the black screws 
that I showed you earlier in the video. Once you do that, you're done. So now I'm going to show you uh, the 8 gigabytes of memory now that's installed in the computer. I start off with 4 gigabytes. That's what the computer came with. It was uh, 4 gigabytes installed. But I'm allowed to have in this computer 8 gigabytes. That's the most I can have. So my system, this computer system, is a 64-bit. And there's, I believe it's 34 bits and 64-bit. This computer is a 64-bit. So I'm going to go into Systems. Go in About. And remember, guys, this is a Windows 10. And as you can see, I'm going to give you a close shot. Now there's 8 gigabytes. And 64-bit operating system. So this is the most I can install on this computer. And that's what i seen on the uh, HP website. When I searched for the computer uh, model number, this is, I believe, the most I can have on this computer. So I took it from 4 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes. It's really easy to install uh, memory to this computer. Uh, uh, like I said, just make sure that you power the computer off. You unhook the power cord. Uh, make sure when you you uh, remove the the, uh, the back off the computer. Make sure that you lay the computer on something soft, so you won't damage the uh, the screen of your computer. Uh, and uh, you shouldn't have a problem, you know. Uh, so. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. I hope this, hope this video helps you if you decide to, if you don't already have an HP computer all in one. I hope this video helps anyone out there, you know. Thanks for watching, guys.